and welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel my name is jess and my channel has a range of content ranging from project planning bookish content and vlogs today's video is going to be my project plan update i'm super super excited to bring this update to you guys but as you can see i'm currently in my family home house i have actually made a mistake <laughs> i forgot to bring my body lotion i do know that i have made a good chunk of progress like this because i've had it in a travel size bottle um and i've used about this much product so we do have a bit of movement in it and i didn't think about bringing the full size one for this update so i'm so sorry that i don't physically have it with me and it also will not be inserted in this video because this video goes up this weekend and i won't be going back until next week so unfortunately we won't be able to see that and i also deliberately left the loose bronzer also at home which is a <laughs> smashed up version of the bronzer that was in the Tarte Ladies Night palette. I still have not used that. I'm going to give it this last month and if I do not use it in this next month then I think it might just be something that I declutter from my collection sadly. I just have never really been in love with the formulation on the bronzer and I've only used it a couple of times since I've crushed it down and I'm really questioning whether it's something that I want to hold on to and keep in my collection or if it's something that actually I don't necessarily need. The other big mistake that I made is I didn't bring my sheet of paper note my notebook that has my measurements in i was a bit all over the place clearly when i was packing for this <laughs> which is my brow pencil in here this is the natural correction brow pencil in dark brown this is by no means dark brown in color i'm wearing it in my eyebrows today this is what we are looking like um we're about we're pretty much the size of my ring finger now. I think I was the size of my middle finger the last time. So it's now the size of my ring finger. I think we are doing well with this. Like I said, it's not my absolute favorite. I love it when it's been sharpened. Like when it's been sharpened, it's easy to use. But when, after you've sharpened it, the first use just blunts the end of this so much. And when you sharpen it, the wood on this side is just so far up. So you kind of have to like cut it with scissors and then keep sharpening, which is just a bit of a faff. Um, but yeah, I do, overall, I do like this product, but I just, wish it was easier to use. Um, I do actually think that I have a good chance of using this up. I've been making pretty good consistent progress. And again, this month I've sharpened it once. So there should be the same kind of this much movement on this pencil. The other product that I can't actually measure against its past progress is the Lorazzi Contour Stick in Aloha. Um, but we're definitely looking stubbier nowadays. I have made a decent amount of progress in this, I feel, this past month. You can kind of see it's starting to like smush down a little bit more like it's starting to come down so i do think that we might have a good amount of progress i do like this product but again i think this year is its last year in my collection i said this last year but this year i genuinely mean it i think after this year this is definitely its last year in my collection as a cream product it's the hydrogel cream balm from doll 10 in stock i'm blushing guys look at that this is so thin in here now like super 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 thin i literally think by next update this will be gone so yeah i absolutely love this blush i've loved enjoying using it every day you can see i was trying to move all the product to the middle and i have done that but now that i'm here i can actually use my beauty spatulas to push it out of the corners and edges so i will be doing that when i'm here but yeah i'm super super happy about this progress and i definitely think this will be done by next update which is super exciting. Also in here, I have the Revlon Photo Ready Candid Foundation. I have made really, really, really great progress in this. I'm so happy to see this progress. This is definitely more progress than the last update. It didn't necessarily feel like I've been wearing more makeup, but I have made a little bit more progress in this. At the front, you can start to see that it is shearing out all the way down the middle now. So we are definitely getting down to the bottom of the product. Um, but yeah, I'm really, really excited to see how long this is going to take because we have had it in since the beginning of the year and it was down to here product wise but i'm really interested to see because i feel like i say this every update but when this isn't in a project pan i honestly feel like i go through this tube of foundation so bloody quickly so i'm interested to see how quick i actually do go through it i feel like we're gonna have one or two i think we've got about two more months left in this i'm gonna say two to be safe just because i feel like it's quite it's a lot wider in the bottom of here and i probably may I will probably end up snipping it in half as well to get the product out of the bottom properly. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy with the progress I make. I feel like I'm making very solid progress. And I think we're going to continue to see this same amount of progress um, now, if not maybe even a little bit more in the next month's update, because I will be wearing makeup a little bit more often. I have a face powder. I have the Revolution Fake Nope. The Revolution Lace Powder just decanted into, depotted into this container instead. There is very little left in here. I am having to shake to get product out now. Um, I don't know if you guys can see. Let me put this back on. 
there is such a small amount now it's literally just to here it's very small in there um very low and I don't know I feel like I'm making great progress in this palette it's definitely gone down quicker than I oh there you go you can see that a lot clearer just down here I feel like there's definitely this definitely gone quicker than I anticipated um to be honest but I'll be really happy and this will mean that I have used up the massive Revolution Lace Powder, which I have had in my collection for a couple of years, but it is a great staple for a drugstore powder. If you guys are interested, I would definitely highly recommend. Super, super excited about finishing this one off. This has been years in the making to finish this off. I also have a blush in here. This is from the Tarte Nine Ways to Shine Cheek Wardrobes and I've been working on the shade Mistletoe which looks like this and I'm not gonna lie this month I haven't really had much use out of this I have rather been reaching for either this the I Heart Revolution soft shimmer blusher in strawberry I believe my sister has one in raspberry because we brought these together but this one in strawberry beautiful blush or even the one above mistletoe here these bubblegum pinky shades which means I think I'm ready to roll this blush out um yeah, I think I'm ready to roll this one out and I'm going to do a rotation through my blushes and I'm going to do a 20 use goal on all of my blushes. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep rotating through my blush collection to get 20 uses. I am going to start off, um, so I'm going to roll this one out, but I'm going to roll in this I Heart Revolution Soft Shimmer Blusher in Strawberry. Um, I'm not going to hit anywhere near pan with this. However, I just want to hit that 20 usage goal um, since it's one that I'm reaching for already. And if I'm still reaching for these bubblegum pink shades, I can always go back to this Nine Ways to Shine te she Cheek Wardrobe and then get 20 uses out of this one. And I'm sure by that time, it'll be about a couple of months and I'll probably be on to using a different shade of blush. This is just going to give me a lot more flexibility in my blush selection. And also I feel like my blush collection is relatively large for how hard it is to use up a blush and, and to even hit pan on a blush. So I'd really love to just get a really nice well-rounded user out of my blushes this year so that's going to be my goal is just to rotate through my whole blush collection with around 20 uses per blush i'm excited about this though i feel really really excited this makes me feel super refreshed about the blushes because blushes are so difficult to hit pan on barry m floralish chisel cheeks contour cream kit now i don't know if these were if these had pan last update but i just didn't notice but these top two oh yeah you can see that i've had a repressing session with the contour shade down here um and i've almost hit pan again in that very middle of it um but these two here actually have pan so the reason why it's so difficult to tell is because the product is in that pan that is pan right there like a massive bit of pan and then this one has a little bit of pan here in the weird shape yeah so both of these have pan on them and i don't even know if i had pan on them last update and just never realized because i only clocked recently that these had pan in them when i was using them i was like oh my god they have pan but yeah i've hit pan in both of these um i think i'm going to keep it in the because this palette is going to stay in the project pan anyway i think i might try and focus these still and just see how much progress i can make um because i would love to again finish off um this contour shade or get really close to finishing it off um yeah that's my goal with this palette um I feel like this has been moving relatively quickly but I'm not 100% sure I could just be in denial but um yeah I want to keep working on this palette in general and I'm really happy to have hit my goal on hitting pan on two of these I might even try and hit pan in the middle one but finally we have my highlighter that's in here which is from the Tarte Lady Night Ladies Night palette and this is what we're looking like. I said I was gonna focus on gonna focus on this corner in the past month and I have done just that. And as you can see, these edges are really lovely and thin. So I will be repressing this after filming this video. I almost repressed it last night and then I decided I was gonna wait until I do this update and then I'll repress it after. And you guys will see what it looks like after repressing in the next update. I, I love the progress that I've made. I feel like I've made a very good amount of progress this year already. And I definitely think I'm well on the way to finishing this highlighter up which is super exciting and that is everything in my project pan currently hopefully you guys can see a decent amount of progress in this update I feel like I can but I don't know if that's because I feel really motivated <laughs> motivated I feel like I've used these products a lot this past month but yeah I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you're doing your own project pan let me know in the comments below how you guys are getting on I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new around here and like to see more videos from me and I'll catch you guys all in the next one. Bye.